YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today, I have big plans for the base. So, I recently played with Moombo, which, by the way, if you missed that episode, I'll flash it in the top right corner, and he let me drive his boat, and I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. So, if you recall, me and Spy Cakes made a boat, and it didn't move, and I think I figured out why. Uh, I was looking at Moombo's boat, and I was looking at how he controlled his boat, and I was like, why didn't I think of this? This is perfect. So, we're going to be building our own boat today, but that is not it. We also need to build a drawbridge probably right about here. That way I can open it up and be able to drive through my base. So, if you guys want to check out Moombo's channel, I'll go ahead and give him a shout out, because, uh, like I said, his boat design really inspired me. So, yeah, definitely go tell him I sent you. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for future Scrap Mechanic episodes, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, and while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And also, we get to do one more thing. I forgot about this. We need to open up our clothing. Hold on, let's get that. And I've got one more over here. So yeah, we did a, a factory raid, me and Spy, and we were able to get quite a few goodies here. So I'm kind of excited to see what we're going to get. So let's use the dress bot. Actually, let's get the uh, cotton down here first. And let's go ahead and start off with the common boxes real quick. So let's make that one. All right, and our first item of clothing is... Dude, that's actually a cool shirt. <laughs> so it's a farm bot shirt. All right, number two is... Okay, that's a pretty awesome jacket. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing the more rare stuff here. Oh, that's going to take 20 to make? Hold on, what's this one take? All right, so that one makes 10, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this one real quick. We might have to save this one. I think I have more cotton somewhere, actually. All right, let's see what we've got here. So let's unbox this. Boom. Whoa, what the heck is that? It looks almost like a diving suit. All right, we got one more to make here, and that should be it. I guess we can go ahead and check out some of this stuff. I really do like this, uh, this shirt here. I mean, that's awesome looking, but we do have this. Man, that actually does look really cool. All right, one more piece of clothing. I'm hoping it's some sort of headwear. That'd be nice. And, oh, we got another jacket. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Let's check out this other jacket real quick. And I kind of like that one, but I, I must say, I, I like this. This is awesome. Kind of looks like a, a diving suit or something, which we might need today. All right, so there's several ways I thought about doing this straw bridge. You can do a piston draw bridge. You can just do a simple switch and a, like a bearing or two. Which I think that's maybe how we're going to do this. Let me go ahead and just cut a hole here. And I don't know how wide the boat is, so we're going to just guess and make a rather big drawbridge. Alright, so I'm thinking for sure that's got to be big enough. So basically what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and get these pieces here. Uh, we're going to make this nice and simple. So I could do a piston one, which I think would look nice. I thought about doing one that just went straight vertical with pistons. But I do like the traditional drawbridge, too, so I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so we got these connections in place. All I've got to do is put a controller, which I'll do it under the bridge, and it's going to go right up and down. I also need to get a gate. That way I can hit a switch on either side. But, yeah, that should work. You know, you could put a sensor on here. I'm not sure exactly where I would put it. That way, maybe when the boat drives up, it would uh, sense the boat and raise the bridge that way. That's kind of an idea, too. Plus, I kind of need to do a dock also. I need to remember that. Now, the bridge itself, I'm just going to make it out of scrap wood because, honestly, I don't think it needs to look that fancy. Okay, so controller is hooked up, so let's go ahead and put these here. And then I need a couple more curved pieces to hook back into the bridge. There we go. All right, so I've added some scrap pieces to it. I think this is going to work. I got to see if this is going to be strong enough. It might have too much weight. It might need to be a full-blown scrap wood bridge in order to work right. All right, so let's turn these up. Uh, let's go 90 degrees on each of them, and then we'll see how high that is. Okay, so let's do that, and then let's go boom. Oops, they're both opposite of where they need to be. Okay, and let's test the draw bridge real quick. Hit the switch. So yeah, I would put a gate on here. That way I can uh, switch it from each side. I think it's a XOR gate, I think. But yeah, that works. So it opens up the uh, the waterway here. So we might upgrade that to a piston drawbridge at some point, but I really want to start working on the boats. Let's go ahead and drop that. There we go. All right, boat time. 
All right, so we're ready to start with the boat. So, yes, I'm going to go with the saddle seat because it is three across, so I can come out to a point on the boat. Now, I'm debating if I'm going to put two gas tanks on it. I know the uh, the thrusters, they use an incredible amount of gas, and that's a little concerning, but I think we're going to be good. By the way, if you're wondering about the power, last time we tried this, we had two, and these are the level two thrusters. We're actually going to upgrade these. I'm going to try to get them both to maybe four, maybe five. I'm not 100% sure. I think I've got right around 40 to 50 components. So we'll see what that gets us here. So let's go ahead and put this down here. All right, so we need a base. So I'm going to do scrap wood here just to get a small base where the seat's going to be. And let's go ahead and grab that saddle seat. So let's grab this here. And let's put this down in our inventory. I know my inventory is messy right now. Uh, and this is going to be boom. So we've got that. Oh, let's cut a little off here. All right, so that's centered. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Actually, not this one. We need to grab this one here. Okay, and let's start to come out to a point. So this is going to be essentially the front of the boat. So we'll do that. We'll come up, and we'll probably come up one more. And then we'll come back here. So I want to do just a basic outline of the boat real quick. Just to get an idea as to how big it's going to be. Which it's not going to be a big boat. Like, I don't want a big boat at all. I want something nimble that scoots across the water really fast. Okay, and then I need to have some words to mount the thrusters. So let's come out. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four. And then we're going to come out four on the other side. So from the look of this uh, material, you would think this isn't very buoyant. But it actually is, surprisingly. All right, let's figure out where these gas tanks are going to go. I might just do a single one once I think about it. So let's go ahead, grab this. Uh, maybe, I don't know, let's see. I mean, a single one fits right back here, but I don't know how efficient that's gonna be for those engines. I'm thinking maybe I need two. I could stack two. Another thing I wanna do, I wanna make this look kinda like a race boat. So I'm gonna put like a little bar over the top. Uh, I think that would look kind of awesome. Let's see, do I have the glass? I guess we could test this out. Oh, it does fit. Yay. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to mount it. All right, so let's do that. I need to get some more metal here. All right, I guess next thing is we should probably mount some thrusters, and then we can build around those. So let's go ahead and grab our two thrusters here. There we go. And then in the chest over here, this is where I've got all my components and some of the building materials I was going to use here. Just going to get more of those in, and let's get our components in. All right, so if we mount these one here and then one here, let's make sure it's still even. Yes, it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to hook these into the gas tank. Which, can I do two? Yes, I can. Now, we could do two separate. I'll have to see. So we've got these. Let's go ahead and upgrade these. So let's go ahead and go upgrade. Boom. And then let's go one more. So that's a level four. I wonder if a level four on each side is going to be enough. Uh, I can upgrade one more, but I think I'd be short for the level five on the other one. So we'll have to see. Now, this is from Moombo. So his control method is rather simple. It's one button here. We'll do one button here. And this is going to hook up pretty easy. The one is going to go here. One's going to go here. And then you'll put one here and then one here. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Fairly simple. All right, let's keep uh, building onto the boat here. All right, so I guess probably right now we should do a buoyancy test and make sure it actually floats uh, before I start painting and stuff like that. So there it goes. Uh, it sounds heavy. <laughs> That's a bit of a concern. So let's go drop. Oh, wait, I think it does float. Hold on. Might be a little off balance right now. Let's see. Do it again. All right, so it isn't touching the floor. All right, so it needs a little bit more in the front here to be functional. I'd like to throw a chest on the back of it. That way we could go places and maybe collect stuff. But it's going to need to float a little bit better before we do that. You know, out of curiosity, does this work? Uh, is this going to be too heavy? So let's go ahead and stick a chest on the back like that. All right, so let's see if this still floats. Uh, come on, buddy. You can float. You can do it. Uh-oh. Okay, so the chest might be too heavy. Or I can move maybe the fuel tank up. Is it hitting the bottom? Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, those chests are unbelievably heavy. I could try to center it, or I just need to add more to the back, see if I can get it to float. I have a feeling we're going to be in trouble if we want to put the chest on, though. All right, so we have a basic design. Let's go ahead and grab our paint tool here. So... 
I'm going to let you guys kind of choose the colors. I'm just going to do like a basic paint here. Uh, just so we can do something with it. Uh, let's go with the red. And let's just paint the outside here. There we go. I like that. And then maybe we'll do the top. And then maybe we'll switch to like a black or something. There we go. Maybe this block set here will be black. That way we can break it up a bit. There we go. So we'll do black. And then maybe we'll switch back to red. And maybe we'll do like a black seat. There we go. I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and paint the buttons black here. All right. So I think we're ready to test this bad boy out. Let's see. I've got plenty of fuel. So let's go ahead and fill up the fuel here. Let's go there, there, there. Uh, let's make another full one here. And then boom. All right, so that's almost a full tank. So question is, does this thing travel very fast? Second question is, does it burn up a ton of fuel? I have a feeling it's gonna definitely burn up a ton of fuel, but we'll have to see here. All right, another float test, drop it there. We'll have to build a dock for this thing. All right, it is floating. Let's go ahead and put the drawbridge up real quick. Okay, let's go boop, and there it goes. All right, so let's hop in and let's see if it works. I'm actually really nervous here. All right, hop in. All right, so to turn, oh, why do I feel like these are not hooked up? Uh-oh. Yeah, it'd be good if you hooked it into the fuel tank, Komodo. That'd be uh, really great. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, uh-oh, this might be too much power. All right, and then let's just go forward. Oh, yeah, okay. Too much power. By the way, I missed some blocks painting-wise. Uh-oh. Are we about to sink? Um, Why does the water physics work really weird in this game? So... It doesn't balance itself back out. <laughs> this looks to be a bit of an issue. The turning works great. Actually, the turning rebalances it. What? All right. So here, let's turn those down just a hair. Let's go one under this. Like, I like a fast boat, but I don't need to die. All right, so turn that there. Okay, and let's go. Yee! <laughs> So it pops a little bit more of a willy than I would like it to. I can easily rebalance that. Also, those painted blocks are bothering me. So that's a question of how much fuel am I using right now? Like, this is great, but I'm concerned that I'm just burning through gas. I guess we should just look real quick. All right, so let's rebalance this. So all I got to do is click this and then up. And it kind of floats back. Yeah, that's uh, really weird. And I, I guess it's just the way the water works here in Scrap Mechanic. So doing that, I think I've used about five fuel. So let's, let's just fill this up. Let's just keep it all at 20 and then we'll kind of gauge it from there. Yeah, I definitely need to add a little bit of buoyancy to the back. You know, while we're out here, let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Boom. So what if I did that and added this to the back? Okay. Will that rebalance that forward? No, I don't think it's going to here. So yeah, we got to cut some of this off. This is probably the best way to do this, by the way. Just do it out in the water. That way you can see it affecting it in real time. All right, we're taking it back to shore real quick. We'll do another run here in just a second. I want to make sure this is balanced as possible. You know what's really doing it? It's got to be the chest. So it's rebalanced now. Let's go ahead and try it again. You know, I could move the thrusters back maybe a block or two. There we go. Look at that. All right, that's a lot better. There we go. Now I just got to repaint the back. All right, so I didn't get a proper gauge on how much fuel it's using. So let's try this one more time. All right, so let's pull this one real quick. So we've got 60 fuel in there. So let's keep shooting across here. I like the whole fact that we can actually have a chest on the back. And of course, we got our little gas tank. That way we can see how much we're using, which we're still using a ton. So I might still uh, upgrade these one more level to see if I can get the efficiency a little bit better. But yeah, look at this. We're on a little adventure. Now, the only thing I really wish the game had, like, it would be nice to be able to... Oh, I didn't know this ended right here. So, the open ocean is on the other side. Oh, okay. So, one thing I really wish there was, there needs to be, like, a little machine that way you can craft gas on the go. Because gas, to me, is the biggest pain in the game. Like, I really wish it was a little bit better system. A lot of people are talking about maybe being able to put the vacuum tubes on the little, uh, oil... I guess you can call it leaks down there? Which I think that is going to be a thing, but it would be nice to be able to make gas on the go. Alright, so let's keep watching the gas gauge here. But I'm pretty happy with this. Alright, there's the base. Let's go ahead and turn just a wee bit. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it controls fairly well. I would prefer to have the steering kind of on like a bearing, but I've done that and I haven't been able to get that to work really right. Which, there we go. We can just pass right there. 
So yeah, I think out that way is where it gets really deep. All right, so that was to the end and back. What did we use here? So how much fuel do we have left? Wow, <laughs> this thing still guzzles fuel. <laughs> so it's a boat. It's not very efficient, but I mean, it's a boat. We did that. All right, I better paint the rest of this real quick because it's going to tick me off. I don't have it painted fully. There we go. All right, so she is painted. So if you guys have any suggestions for the boat, let me know down in the comment section below. We'll use it probably quite a bit. Like I want to go on a big mission maybe out towards the open sea. So maybe we'll carry a bunch of extra fuel and we'll just see kind of what's out there. Like there's either land on the other side or it just ends somewhere. And so park the boat up here. There we go. And then we can walk back over here. Boom. Ha! <laughs> well, we built something that somewhat functions here today. That's more than I can say for a lot of our episodes. So anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic.